Hey musicians, organ players, theatre organ lovers, this is Tom Horton on YouTube. Uh, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. Thanks so much for joining me today on my channel. And it's my absolute pleasure and thrill to bring you another theatre organ tuition video. Now in this lesson we're going to talk about registrations on a small organ. Because as much as it's nice to go and play all the big organs with 15, 20 ranks, often the instruments you might come across might have five ranks, ten ranks. So in this video we're going to talk about registrations that you might enjoy for organs that are six ranks or smaller. So here's our first registration. We've got the, the trends on and we're going to put a 16 and a two foot tibia. I'm going to put some nicer uh, soft strings on the, uh, on the accompaniment and a nice little gentle 16 and 8 on the pedals. And this is a beautiful one for ballads. Because the sixteen and the uh, and the eight, uh, sorry, the sixteen and the two makes a very hollow sound from the instrument. So that's really nice. Here's the next registration. We're going to do uh, tibia eight, four, and two. And then we're going to do a 16 foot string and also the 16 foot vox. And this creates a lovely shimmering kind of sound. Lovely sound there using the 16 vox and strings. Now for something a bit brighter, we've got a four foot tibia and the glockenspiel. So notice there when I'm playing, we get the glockenspiel clicking at the beginning. And then of course we get the, uh, the lovely sound of the tibia coming in behind like that. So that's a really pleasant sound. Now if you put all the 16s on, you can get a kind of a nice big bandy sound. Now if you play an octave higher, And we can follow that up with the eight foots as well. Nice for those big band sounds. Now for something a little jazzier, let's put on a concert flute. And I'm going to put the two and two thirds on. Okay, I'm then going to take off the trends. And this is what you get. Nice little sort of stringy sound. And this is really good for kind of jazzy numbers. Or maybe Latin American numbers, we need that kind of fast sound. So lovely sound there, and that's quite effective with the trems being off. Put the reeds on, take the trems off, put the concert flutes on, at all the pitches, and uh, if you've got a diapason, add that as well. And this creates a very good uh, church organ tone. And of course the other thing to, to do is to also make use of octave couplers, so whatever registration you've got on, just simply let's move it up to the solo and we can hear it at different pitches. Thank you. 
So lovely sounds there from a very small little organ. And of course, we've got the xylophone, we've got the uh, the castanets. So if you're doing a Latin number, let's say with that uh, registration we had a little while ago, do you remember where we turned off the trems, put the uh, the eight foot on, and the uh, the two and two third? Listen to this with say tambourine. Um, Nice little sounds there coming from the Compton. So all those registrations on a small organ, and it, it's fun because you don't have so much to play with. You can explore all the different registrations. So enjoy that, and I will see you hopefully next time here on YouTube. Do hit subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. There's actually quite a few other organ tuition videos and also piano and music theory. So do hit subscribe. Thanks to everyone who watches my channel and supports me. And if you really enjoyed this video and would like to support my actual making of these videos with cameras, software, time, um, do please consider becoming a patron of Keyboard Skills Pro on patreon.com. All you simply do is follow the links in the description or go to patreon.com and search for Keyboard Skills Pro. And each month, if you wish, you can make a, a pledge to help me produce more videos. So we we'll do hope you'll consider that. Enjoy your music, folks. Thanks so much. And we will see you soon here on YouTube. Thanks so much.